I'm back. Welcome to this week's ITTV Update. I'm Dave Graveline. After a week in the hospital with kidney stone surgery, I don't recommend it. Thanks to everyone that sent me Facebook and other messages of love and support, and especially those with a sense of humor and get well wishes. You kept me going and laughing, which made it hurt more, but it was worth it. If you ever plan to experience kidney stones, don't. Now I think I'll remove the stones from my little fountain in my front yard because they remind me of lots of pain. There's still a few weeks left in our annual cool into tomorrow hot summer giveaway. We've got a plethora of prizes, including shiny new Intel based tablets that were given away. All you have to do to win is participate on our national radio show by calling in or using the audio option on our free app to ask us anything about technology. Maybe you have a tip for our audience, or maybe you have some tech rage or a favorite app that you want to share with us. Call our Ask Dave hotline anytime, 24-7, 1-800-899-INTO. That's 800-899-4686. Or use our free Into Tomorrow app and send us an audio question. It's that easy to participate and win. All of us deal with slow PCs, yes, even you Mac folks, from time to time. A lot of the slowdowns are a result of years worth of clutter and errors in the operating system. There are several software solutions on the market to increase PC performance. Well, Chris is up next in this week's product spotlight to share his thoughts on one of those programs that we've been using successfully. Computer slowdowns are a big problem. Years worth of clutter, fragmented files, registry errors, and other issues take their toll on our PCs. In fact, a lot of people end up buying a new PC to replace the slightly older and much slower one. Some people don't realize that a lot of times those slowdowns are not just necessarily because the computer is out of date. A good piece of software can help clean your system and have it running close to new again. One such program that we've used for years and have recommended on our show is System Mechanic from IOLO. Today we're going to take a look at their pro version of the software. Once you install the program and run a quick scan, you'll see your dashboard. This is a very handy interface that will give you a quick glimpse into the health of your system. Now, the software will tell you things like how much clutter is in your system, whether there are errors on your drive or the Windows registry. All those things contribute to slowdowns. Now, the software doesn't make any changes to your system without letting you know what it's going to do, which is a big plus. It will give you a list of all the problems found. You can then choose to repair all or ignore certain problems. Now what I give this program a big thumbs up for is that it will actually show you a little blurb explaining each problem and what fixing it will mean to your system. That's extremely helpful to someone who's not the most computer savvy. And once you've had a look at the list of problems, with a click, the program does the rest. You can let it do its repairs in the background and continue working on something else. If it needs to reboot, it'll tell you. After running this on several of our systems here at the studios, I found it made a difference on most of the computers. A couple of other features that are bundled with this pro version allow you to search out and remove redundant programs. Basically, if you have more than one program installed in your machine do the same thing, this will tell you and give you the choice to keep it, remove it, or even give you time to think about it. The program will tell you if there are updated drivers available for your system. This will help maintain system stability. And the program also includes System Shield, which is their virus and malware protection. That eliminates the need for a separate virus program. The Live Boost gets kind of technical and geeky, but it says it'll boost your system responsiveness through real-time calibration of your CPU, RAM, and drive. I haven't tested it long enough to know if it actually does anything, but given the way the rest of this program works, I'm very hopeful that this will do what it says. There are other features included in the software that I just didn't have time to cover, but they do offer a 30-day trial if you want to check it out for yourself. You can find the software for about $35 online, and one license will cover all the PCs in your home for a year. The bottom line is everyone needs some kind of tool on their PC to help keep it running fresh. I have tried several others over the years, and like I said, System Mechanic has been the one that we've stuck with for our PCs. So check out this and similar software. If you end up buying any of the tools available for keeping your system running smoothly, let us know what you end up with. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Our Ask Dave hotline is always open. If you haven't gotten social with us lately, what's holding you back? Stop by our Facebook page and hit that like button. It only takes a second. Then head on over to our official Twitter feed. Stay up to date on everything related to our show. 
links to all of our social media pages, including our YouTube channel, where you can subscribe to these updates, are on the main page at intotomorrow.com. It's time to jump into our Wayback Machine and head into yesterday to check out some of the tech achievements of the past. Chris joins us again with his feature this week in tech history to share some of those highlights. This week in 1877, Thomas Edison wrote to the president of the Telegraph Company in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The letter stated that the word hello would be a more appropriate greeting than ahoy, as suggested by Alexander Graham Bell when answering the telephone. That same week in 1877, Edison finished figuring out his first phonograph. Three months later, he demonstrated it in public for the first time. In 1896, Harvey Hubble of Bridgeport, Connecticut received a patent for the pull chain electric light socket. In 1910 this week, Alva Fisher of Chicago, Illinois received a patent for an invention that moms, grandmas, and single guys have certainly come to appreciate, the electric washing machine. Previous to Fisher's invention, washing machines were cranked by hand, or you use a washboard. And this week in 1981, IBM introduced the Model 5150 PC. The IBM PC ran on the Intel 8088 microprocessor at 4.7 MHz. It had 16 kilobytes of memory and was expandable to 256. It had no built-in clock, no built-in serial or parallel ports, and no built-in video capability. It was available, however, with an optional color monitor. Prices started at around $1,500. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA Berlin, the global innovation show for consumer tech and home appliances and the official partner of the future. Get more info at ifa-berlin.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our free tech newsletter. It's got a ton of useful information. Stop by into tomorrow.com and put your email address in the red box on the main page. When you get the confirmation email, accept it by clicking the link and you'll have us in your inbox for free once a week. Don't forget to participate on our show while there's still time for you to enter our cool Into Tomorrow hot summer giveaway. Remember, all you have to do is participate on the show by letting us hear you. Well, that'll about do it for this week's Into Tomorrow ITTV update. I'm Dave Graveline. Join us right here again next week. And until then, catch us online at intotomorrow.com and, of course, on the radio. Thank you.